Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Apex Chess Academy. I am Fido Instructor Hamil Thanki. Today our topic is A4 E8 Weak Diagonal. Yes, part 2. This time we will see the execution part between two heavyweight champions. This game is from Russian final 2013 and both players are above 2600. Now this time this game starts with QGD. So let's see starting from the move number one. Okay, so d4, e6, c4, knight f6, knight c3, d5, and this is known as QGD, Queen's Gambit. D. Okay, now knight f3, and b7, bishop g5, c6. All moves are very natural so far. And here I choose uh, cd5. This is nowadays very famous. And uh, after ed5, this structure is known as Carlsberg. Carlsberg itself is a very, very, very big. And we can just uh, make a whole month videos based on Carlsberg. So Carlsberg is one of my favorite topic. And we will cover this topic in our future videos. Okay, so after say e d5, e3, um, and say bishop e7. Um, okay, if we talk about the plans and ideas about the Carlsberg pawn structure, normally white uh, plays either um, say minor attack with a3, b4. Sometimes if his knight is on e2, white can even consider the plan of f3 and e4 because white has pawn majority in center, so it's better to push this pawn majority. So f3, e4 is also one of the great idea if you play bishop d3 and g2 and f3. But okay, our topic is not Carlsberg, so we'll discuss this theme in our future videos. Okay, let's immediately go back to our theme. So say after bishop d3, 8th move, knight to f8, short castle, and bishop to h4, bishop to g4. And after bishop to g4, actually this looks very natural because you see black has um, all the pawns on a light color. So it is ideal to trade this bishop because it's a bad bishop while white has all the pawns on a dark square so his dark square bishop is not that great but his light square bishop is very strong so what's black's intention black's intention is to just play bishop to g4 then bishop to h5 and bishop to g6 yes that's it and if black succeed to exchange this bishop then black has no problem whatsoever okay so i choose h3 and black played bishop to h5 so bishop to f3 queen to f3 again it uh, gives uh, bishop at white so i won't think that this would um, this would help black so i won't consider um, any big difference but of course i mean as compared to bishop h5 uh, bishop to f3 was a better choice but okay so let's move to bishop to h5 Okay, so after bishop to h5, once again, hmm, after bishop to h5, what you should think? You should think about a4, a diagonal, yes. So, now, can you do this this time with the same way of exploiting this diagonal? Let's pause the video, try to find out by yourself. Okay. So to exploit this diagonal, first of all, we should deal with the f6 knight. And of course, this move, bishop to f6, simply takes away the control of e4 square. And now, after some bishop to f6, now white will immediately play e4. And now you see, black king is still in the center, so white is opening the center itself very quickly and if black if, if black takes on c e4 let's check first d into e4 then we can simply play bishop into e4 and now you see white is ready with d5 and black's king is exposed very badly 
So it does not matter what black is playing, say so black is if black is playing say knight d6, white will just play d5, rushing through the center and after breaking the center, say so queen a4 check, queen d7 is almost forced, queen d7, king d7, knight into d5, and black's king is in trouble. So after e4 on move number 12, black choose knight to e6. Now what to do? So if you play e5, you do not have the follow-up continuation with f4. So you should not play e5. Okay, so what you should do now? Correct. e takes d5. So this is the only move which can help white to explore the a4 e to be diagonal. And still black cannot take it back with the queen. So black is forced to take it back with the pawn. And now this time with the queen to a4 check. So bishop b5 check is also possible but I like queen a4 check because it simply free my knight from pinning. So queen a4 check. Now queen d7 won't be possible because of bishop b5 and say if um, um, Okay, of course, king is a hopeless out of question. So let's consider king to f8. Okay, switch so was played in game as well. And now our knight is hanging on f3, so we must move our knight. So white simply jumps to e5. Okay, now knight to f4 and rook f e1. So what is the point of rook f e1? Remember one thing that will cover your future. Um, part middle game parts as well. Any piece move on first or second rank that means manually. So here, after rook to e1, which square is vacant? Yes, it's f1. So white may play bishop to f1 in future. This should be in your mind, right? Okay, so here say uh, g5 was played in game so his intention is to create space for his king of course black has no chance to attack with g4 so uh, black's idea is to just just uh, defend his king with this way because uh, uh, i mean g6 is possible but then his bishop on h5 looks very uh, silly because after bishop f1 g4 might be a threat so again black has to think about uh, his bishop on h5 and that's why here black chose uh, this move uh, g5 okay still bishop to f1 this bishop to f1 actually this move secures white's king side very firmly and now black can just take action on uh, either in center or on a queen side okay so after bishop to f1 king to g7 and now g3 so this move is possible just because of bishop to f1 now knight goes back and bishop to g2 and uh, now you see uh, next move d5 will fall and again white simply uh, wins a pawn and the remaining part is easy but okay here the d4 pawn is also a little bit weak so let's check uh, the game for full moves. Okay, so here um, queen to b6. Uh, okay, so knight to sun won't help because knight to sun means black can just white can just play queen to b3 and uh, still we are targeting the d5 pawn and the b7 pawn. So there is no way to defend uh, the d5 pawn any, uh, anymore. So which simply wins a pawn. So let's see what happened if queen b6. Okay, so queen b6 and then in game knight d7 was played, but I wonder why not knight d5 because knight d5 is uh, of course crushing. So knight d5, queen d4, queen d4, knight d4, knight into f6, everything is forced so far. And after king into just bishop into b7. And uh, now rook b8 won't be possible because of uh, knight to d7. And of uh, course knight c2 won't help uh, black because his uh, bishop uh, his, his rook on a8 is hanging itself uh, okay so here this um, 20th moon knight d5 is winning but he chose knight to d7 in game and then after queen d4 knight into f6 queen into f6 and knight d5 still white is better but okay the main question is uh, bishop h5 uh, was very natural in the game uh, on say move number uh, uh, 10th 
Yeah, so Bishop H5 looks very natural because his idea is to exchange his bad bishop. But here white choose a very good move, very good plan that is bishop to f6. This is a very good move. Uh, in cards build, actually e4 move itself is a is a separate plan. So whenever you are learning cards build, you must learn e4 plan is white. So here after bishop to f6, bishop to f6 and e4, this was a crushing um, way to exploit this e4 e8 weak diagonal. So this is what we can see the execution part. First part we have seen the basic intro of a48 weak diagonal and here we have seen the execution part of this a48 weak diagonal. Hope you have enjoyed my second part as well. So please subscribe my channel and like my video as well. Thank you. Thank you very much.